We're going to, uh, real quick, I'm going to go over. Hey, Ryan, what's up, Burn? Yep, Zed Moore. Guys, I want to give you guys the exact, and girls, and youngins, and oldins, and all together, I'm going to give you guys uh, Lake Tawakini Guide Services settings on our helixes. There they are. They're all written out right there. That's Actually, that's all I'm going to give right there. Well, let's think about this for a minute. Do we really want to do that? Well, I don't see. Here's the deal. Here's the way I look at it. You know what? It doesn't matter if you got the goods. You still got to get out there and you got to find the fish. That's true. And, uh, and you know what? These, uh, these settings here are going to help you find them. So, guys, uh, here we go. Let's you, get a bunch of likes and hearts for this. Yeah, I mean, this is some great so info. Let's get a bunch of hearts you know and likes going on for this. I think we don't even need to share it after this. Let's make it right speed right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, check this out. This is where you're going to want to write these inf this information. John Puckett, okay. you're, uh, you're joining us just at the right time. Guys, uh, what I'm getting ready to give you, I'm going to give you the information you need on your Helix units. Uh, yep. Now, if you run in a Lowrance, this is not going to help you, but on your okay, Helix okay. units, both your Mega and your non-Mega, uh, units, this is going to be from Helix 9 and up. Okay, your Helix 7, some of them won't work. Uh, do these work for Lowrance users? No. Uh, Jerry, it doesn't. Are, Jerry, are you a Lowrance user? I'm just curious. I, I thought you might have been a Hummerberg guy. But uh, With that said, guys, here we go. All right, uh, starting out, um, first thing I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and go up into your setup and then go into user mode, and you're going to change it from normal to advanced. Okay? When you go into your setup mode, you're going to change it to the advanced user mode. That's going to give you a lot more uh, options uh, and setting options for you to use. I want you to go ahead and scroll down under your setup, and you're going to go ahead and click Restore Defaults. Uh, when you do that, it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to restore? Go ahead and do that. You're not going to lose any waypoints. You're not going to lose any of your saved data. You're just going to, it's just going to restore defaults to your settings menus. And it's going to come up, it'll come up under there and say yes, or, or it'll say no or yes. And all you do is no. click left or right arrow. You click your right arrow to say yes. Exactly. Okay. Uh, with that, we're going to start with sonar. Okay. First of all, first thing I want you to know on sonar is we're going to, uh, we're going to choose the high frequency uh, on, your, uh, on your sonar. Uh, after that, we're, I want you to set your surface clutter to one. Uh, on your 2D switch fire, I need you to turn that to max mode. Okay. I want you to turn your 2D switch fire to max mode. On your water type, I want you to go to salt shallow, okay? You've got fresh water, salt shallow, and you've got deep. Uh, go to the fresh water, or I'm sorry, go to the salt shallow. I think this gives a little more clarity. Uh, it tricks the unit uh, since most, most, most of you guys are fishing lakes uh, in less than 60 foot, 60 foot or less. It gives a little more clarity, a little more target separation. Uh, uh, yeah, those stakes are, I've got them on my mind for sure. John, good. This, you, the 1198, a lot of this information will, can be used on the 1198. Um, go ahead and turn your color bar off. There's no reason to use your color bar. Your RTS window, that, but it blips on your right side. Go ahead and turn that off. There's really no reason to have that. Um, on your sensitivity, this is key. Okay, remember, we turned our switch fire to max mode. Okay, when we turned our switch fire to max mode, your typical 10 to 11 sensitivity is going to blow it out. So take your sensitivity after you turn your unit to max mode on your switch fire, bring your sensitivity down to 7 or 8. If you're a deep water fisherman fishing 40 to 50 to 60 foot water, leave it at 8. If you're fishing a lot of water below 40 foot, put it at 7. Okay, you're going to get an incredible amount of target separation. Uh, and your max mode is going to give you a lot of detail. Now here's the deal. With max mode, it shows a lot of algae and plankton in the water column. That's why you got to bring that sensitivity down to about seven which or is, eight. Which Let's is see those lights. This is some great info. Wrong, but that's another reason to switch it to salt mode, so it doesn't pick up as much of that algae and plankton because yep. it's it's it, it puts it more of a salt water density right. than a fresh water. Than a fresh water. That's that's a and good. You can yeah. really tell the difference. When that's you right. That's exactly right. And there's one thing I did not put in here. Okay, on your noise filter, we're still in your sonar settings. Your noise filter, you got to bring that all the way down to one. Okay, on your noise filter, you got to bring it down to one. If you bring your noise filter up, it filters out a lot of the critical information that's in your unit that you need to see. So bring your noise filter uh, down to one. And I think that is going to... Now, I, I do use uh, color palette number seven. That is, uh, that is uh, Lawrence's, that is Humminbird's original color palette. 
and I really believe that their original color palette is the best palette. The reds are going to be your hardest returns. The uh, the blues and the and the greens are going to be your lightest returns. Um, that color bar does give that information. Uh, but with that said, uh, number seven co uh, color palette is, is going to be your best color palette. It's their original color palette. It works great. All right, real quick, moving down to side imaging, um, guys. If you're using your, let me explain something real quick. These new mega units that came out, you know, a year, year and a half ago, came with a very high megahertz. They're over a, they're over a meg of of of, inf of of data that's coming in in your in your uh, frequency. Here is the, the 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 beauty and the the beast, if you will, of the of these units. These mega units are only designed it's on side imaging to look out at most 50 feet. Okay, when you're when you're using these high frequencies, they give a tremendous amount of clarity and detail at short distances. Okay, it's kind of like a shotgun blast. It's very powerful, powerful at a short distance. It's not like a rifle. So here's here's what I'm going to tell you. Even if you own a mega unit, and you probably have seen this, if you're trying to scan out at 80, 90, 100, 110 feet, after like 50 feet, your image blows out on both sides. Okay. And and you're you're do, you're in the reason it's doing that is because you're in the mega mode. So here's what I'm going to offer: if you're if you're scanning for fish and you're just looking for fish, you need to be in the 455 megahertz mode, even in your mega units. Okay, because for example, megahertz instance, or kilohertz? Uh, it's uh well kill we'll be in 50, 455 kilohertz. Come on, kilohertz. Yeah, yeah. right. He, he said megahertz. It's yeah. 455 kilohertz. Yeah. So and you can turn that down. And, and here's the deal: you're sitting with a mega unit, and you spent the extra money on a mega unit, and and you're and you're frustrated because you're not getting the detail that you want at distance. Well, let me tell you that. Let me tell you something. I'm, I don't mean to burst your bubble, but if you're trying to get uh, incredible detail on your mega unit and you're coming out of a regular helix 10 or helix 12 or 1198 I'm gonna tell you something you're not gonna get the detail in your mega unit at distance because you're in a high frequency so if you are a hybrid fisherman if you're searching for brush piles that you haven't found yet you're looking for them you're looking for blue cats out to 100 115 120 feet let me tell you something you don't need to be in the high frequency you need to go up to your settings okay and you need to, it's under the uh, sonar settings and you need to go down and you need to choose the 455 uh, kilohertz, kilohertz. Right. and that's going to put you in a great uh, it's going to put you in a great frequency to scan at distance I prefer to scan between 110 to 115 feet uh, 120 at the most that's going to give you a, a good return and you can still scan that at five miles an hour or a little better that's right. I mean five to seven miles an hour you can still scan it effectively at those speeds that's versus uh, 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 with your mega imaging you have to slow down to around three miles an hour or less to get that same return that's I've done seven and it still worked for me so yeah on, on, on our units a non -mega unit. absolutely yeah, yeah. And, and so here's here's what here's what I want to say to this and then I'm going to give you a few settings on your side imaging but if you're searching in short distances, for instance, you're sh you're searching a river, you're in a creek bed or you're in a river. For instance, Jerry, you know y'all might be up in the Brazos or in a couple a weed weeks, line. They're, or they're more effectively on weed line. a weed line, or right. you're uh, or you know where the structures you're 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 scanning a shoreline. Right. Uh, then the, your mega unit's going to really show off because you're going to drop that down your range down to 50 or 60 feet, and that mega at that 1.2 1.4 kilohertz is going to give you more detail in a real short amount of space. Uh, so here's what I'm gonna offer. If you're a crappie fisherman and you know where your brush pile is, or you're a blue cat fisherman and you're scanning a specific uh, uh, area that's close to you, or you're a bridge fisherman and you're scanning the bridge, uh, looking for target separation of crappie off the pillars, then you need to be in your mega. You need to be in your 1.2 to 1.4 kilohertz. Megahertz. Me you keep getting it back. No, no, you megahertz. need to get that in 1.2 megahertz, 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 not 455 kilohertz. There you go. Thank you very much. Okay, let's talk you about some, keep him straight, man. Let's talk about some settings. I'm not the prize. Let yeah, let's talk ask, about the ask settings. Let question really quick. Um, Quit worrying about gigawatts and milliwatts. How important <laughs> right. is placement in your transducer? Uh, placement on the transducer is very critical. Um, you want to you want to place your transducer, guys, as close about two and a half feet below the bottom of the boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put it as, put it as close inches. to your uh, feet your inches, uh, right? <laughs> put it as close to your drain plug as you can get it. If, if you uh, the 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 manufacturers ask you to put it 14 to 18 inches to the right or the starboard side 
of your uh, of the kill of your boat. But I'm telling you, uh, you're going to get a better image, a clearer image, if you put it closer to your drain plug. I like to get it within three or four inches of my drain plug. That gives me true center on my side imaging, and uh, and it gives me a better picture. Uh, with that said, guys, here are the settings for your side imaging. Uh, you're going to want to run your sensitivity between 14 and 16 uh, on your side imaging. Um, when we're talking about clarity, we're really talking about contrast of the objects that's being pinged back to you versus the color of the back screen. It seems like on Humminbird, and I can't say this for Lawrence, Lawrence the amber kind of wins the cake, but on the Humminbird, the blue screen, which is their original color, um, gives you your best contrast between fish and the backdrop, which is the, the bottom of the lake. And so I've tried every color on Humminbird, and I'm telling you, your best color is going to be your blue set with your sensitivity between 14 and 16. I like to bump my chart speed down to 4 miles an hour because I like to scan somewhere between 3 to 4 miles an hour. I like to match my chart speed to my scan speed. Okay, when I do that, it slows my chart down just a little bit, gives me a little bit clearer uh, picture. Um, we're making this really long, so I'm trying to speed up a little bit. Um, people ask all the time, how far do you like to range out? I like to range out anywhere between 110 and 120. I think if you look at most of our units on the boats, they're set at 115, right at it. It seems like that with 455 kilohertz, Thank you. Uh, <laughs> it seems like that that at 115 feet I get as much detail at 115 feet as I do at 60 feet. But if I get out to 130, 140, or 150, it seems like that then all of a sudden I get distorted and my and I'm not seeing as much I'm not I'm not seeing Sounds my object clear. as clear at distance. Okay, and then again I'm just going to go go over this real quick. Um, if you're running the mega units, remember to uh, switch your unit because your unit by default is going to come in the mega. 1.2 to 1.4 megahertz, mega, uh, mega. mega setting, mega. and if you are searching for fish, it's going to put you at a long heart, uh, long heart, uh, to only scan out at 50 feet. You need to be scanning at 100 to 120 feet, especially if you're searching for hybrids and stripers, guys. Those fish may be out 100, 120 feet, and if you're only scanning at 50 feet, you're going right by them, and you're not even seeing them. And and in and with saying that, there's there's a lot more settings and stuff like that on these units. I mean, they're incredible on what you can really define them to be for your own personal use. I mean, he's just going over some of his personal preferences and stuff. And what he means by default setting is when you turn that unit on, it is set up from the manufacturer to be an incredible unit and stuff. But he's just giving you a few better. settings and stuff like that to really refine uh your imagery and stuff like that. Absolutely. And then the last thing real quick, on your down imaging, uh, the new Mega units, the Gen 2 uh, Megas, they have a lot better. They have a dedicated crystal now uh, for your down image, uh, whereas before on, on the regular uh, Helix units in previous models, you, they actually took the side imaging unit and converted it to a down image picture, which uh, that's probably one of the reasons why Lawrence folks were so much... You know, so much happier about their down image. Now with the new mega units, the dedicated crystal, now it's very similar. Uh, with that said, your color choice is probably going to be best at the number two setting. That is the light amber. The number three setting is the dark amber. I think it blows out your image. The blue is just not that good on the down image, but at that light amber, which is your color choice number two, crank up the sensitivity to 12 on your, uh, on your down image, and then, you, again, use your chart speed at four. And default settings come at five. 10. At five. Is, is it five, at five, on, five, oh, on, five the, on the down image, ten on the side? Um, no, chart speed just goes up to ten. Is that what you're talking about, chart speed? On your sensitivity. Oh, yeah, it goes up to 20. Yeah, right, but it comes standard at 10. At 10. Right. Yeah, yeah. And so we're just cranking it up a little bit to right. 12. So I hope this helps, guys. Uh, take these, these settings, play with them a little bit, but I promise you they're spot on. I set up a lot of units over the years. I use these exact settings on every unit. Um, and I'm telling you, they, they'll clear up your unit, and uh, you'll enjoy them. So. Well, my settings are different. <laughs> now, let me tell you about my settings real quick. For those guys that like to be behind on my shoulder and peek at my screen, I keep mine in demo mode all day long. <laughs> <laughs> He's got it on demo mode, uh, and, it, and it loops for the aquarium at uh, SeaWorld. So that's how, his, that's how his reads all the time. And stuff. But seriously, if y'all need help on setting your unit up and stuff, contact Michael. I mean, he's one of the best and he, he can actually take you out in your boat and help you with uh, setting your new unit up and stuff like that. Yeah. So that's another option Do we offer. Do you guys change contrast?
sharpness in the sentence at all? Trent, absolutely not. No, leave your contrast off or your contrast uh, at the default setting, and then your uh, your sharpness settings don't don't change them. You do that, you're going to start popping Hello, some Kathy. some images that are going to going to throw you off. So leave right. that at the default settings. If I didn't mention anything. After you go to your restore defaults, don't change it. Okay. Yeah, that's that's all it's now, saying. There's if you guys a, there's screw a... your unit up, nine oh three. Actually, correct. actually, oh, there is a, a uh, there's, there's a way to always go back to your default yeah. settings. Yeah. That's a good uh, uh, you can give me the quick rundown because I don't remember what do we how, do? how you if, if you if you go up. into your unit and, and mess it all up, and next thing you know, you just got a terrible picture. There is a way to reset it real easy to your default settings. Yeah, real simple. And um, um, just go over no. to your uh, just go over to your setup. That's go to your main uh, main menu. Go main over. Menu. It's all the way to the right. It's the third one from the other right. Drop down about the fifth one. First of all, you have to put it in advanced. Your user mode has right. to be in advanced because they won't and see you do this. That and you double click you, menu. You just go uh, double click the menu. Go over to the right. Drop down uh, to your uh, your setup. Advanced. And then go to your uh, your user mode. Go to advanced, right. and then right after the once you go to advanced, right, it'll pop right. up. Arrow. Okay, yeah, right. That turns it on to advanced, and then drop down two more, and you'll show the uh, what were you talking about? The uh, how to do the reset. The, the restart. Your, yeah, it, it's just default. default settings, and, it, and just restore the default. Restore settings. default settings, yeah. and it'll come up yes or no, and click to the right. And say, you, we yes. take no responsibility Mark if McKinney. you decide to do this. No, <laughs> don't it, mess I'm telling this. you, do it. It will work. The good thing is, is you can always go to hummingbird. Uh, dot com and yeah. and they actually have instructions he, he on how to reset that. He, he so. people's units up all the time. And uh, <laughs> we're finding fish, so that's a good thing. So. All right, well, Mike, get us out of here and show us how Thank our sponsors do it. Thank you all for supporting <laughs> us. Please like and share. share. All that kind of Before stuff. you guys leave, please hit the like button. Just that's right. One like person, it. just guys, like, hit the share. like button. That would be great. Nobody's doing it. And with all, give you all this <laughs> let's blow up all the like buttons Come right on. now. Let's get That's some right. likes. Let's get some heart. Let's just not one like. Let's end it with not a bang. Right. Let's see there all goes. those likes and hearts. Well, there's so. one. They're probably all Julie. All right. So with all this great information <laughs> and all that we kind of stuff, all, really uh, you know, y'all keep asking questions. We'll keep trying to answer them every week. We're here. Uh, so y'all make sure, even if you're not watching live right now, if you watch this uh, later in the week and you have a question. Hit it on there, and, and we'll try to answer it. If not, at that time, we'll try to answer it in next week's feed. Yeah. Or if there's anything different y'all want to see, uh, you want to know more about certain information or yeah. anything like We're that, just hit guys, us up. So we, even, we feel good about helping y'all. Even like a rain gear that we wear or boots, anything. Sure. Because all that's coming up, guys. we got okay. trophy cat season coming Balls, up. And, uh, and, yeah, tomorrow we're supposed to have big yeah. northwest winds and stuff, so it's going to start cooling off. Yeah. So. Thank you all for tuning in and stuff. Like I said, tonight's program was brought to you in part by these fine sponsors. Pure Fishing, Minn Kota and Hummingbird. Where did, where did I go? Oh, Costa Del Mar Sunglasses. See what's out there. RSR Lures, Yamaha Outboards, American Angler Filet Knives, Be Ready Rod Holders, McKinney Custom Rods, Tough Skin Motor Covers, Blackbeard Marine, and Effortless Branding. You guys have a great one. We appreciate y'all hanging out with us. Bye-bye.